oftentimes see people that are right that are living a double life right. and you're like oh well they can't be it was always the quiet one on the street that ended up having the heads in the refrigerator well i understand <laughs> that. and and that's part there's so many elements of the perfect storm here one of which is that this story breaks in pennsylvania not long after the whole catholic church scandal right and because of that it sets a prism through which everybody especially in the news media they see this they see paterno as the pope they see the administrators right. as the cardinals they see sandusky oh he's the pedophile priest and they see the penn state football fans as oh these are the catholic parishioners who are, love their football so much their religion of football that they're willing to look the other way and, and pretend that a pedophile didn't really exist that was a narrative that fit yeah, the, that and, narrative is is real in many cases. People don't want to look at this stuff. I understand that, but in, but that's what set this case up for a massive injustice. So as I got involved more and more, and I was just looking for the truth, and I interviewed Sandusky not once but twice in prison for six hours plus, went on the Today Show not once but twice. The second time, Matt Lauer very nicely declared my career to be dead uh, three, <laughs> three years ago this week. But I figured, okay, you know, if you're going to die on a hill, this is a pretty good di hill to die on. And I, trust me, I've taken enough bullets to understand the reality of that. Um, what I realized was that the only way to make this case make any sense at all is it shockingly the part of the case that no one took a look at, no one bothered to do the math on, the Jerry Sandusky element is a myth. That Jerry Sandusky is in fact innocent and it's not even close. That's what's so amazing about this. But we start a domino effect. The, the Joe Paterno firing, and people who are not from Pennsylvania can't fully understand the psychological impact of the firing of Joe Paterno. This was this was a nuclear explosion over this entire case. It was like people's entire lives had been turned upside down, everything they thought they knew. I mean, this was worse than the Trump election for liberals. I mean, it, you know, this, everything is upside down. And, and, and in reality, it, it, to understand this case fully, you have to understand that at the moment of Paterno's firing, all the incentives in this case get flipped upside down. Everybody's incentives are now perverse. All the white hats turn into the black hats and the black hats turn into white hats. And, and from that moment on, we have a domino effect of injustice.